Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into this. Thank you God for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message. All right, so let's see. All right, let's see what's going on for you this week, Cancer. Family room, okay, so um, you could be meeting someone's family. Someone could be telling you some intimate secrets um, about their family, about themselves, or you're doing this, okay? Um, you're divulging some information. You're trying to create that closeness, that intimacy uh, with someone. Here, let's see. Official person. Um, you could be speaking with an official person. You could be speaking with your father um, or some masculine energies in, in some capacity Somebody that you hold in a very high regard here with the official person here. Someone who you maybe even share a home with. It could be your husband or father figure or the father of your children. You could be sitting this person down and having an intimate talk with them here. Let's see. Um, expectation. You could be expecting for some change here after this talk. You're expecting for something, some um, feedback, um, for something to morph. The lover's card, maybe you're expecting for more uh, more love, more romance, more dedication, uh, more touching, more feeling, more dating to happen within your connection, within your marriage here, Cancer. Um, let's see what else is going on for you, Cancer. Yeah, you're expecting a new start, okay? You're expecting someone to give it the old college try here with the, with the child card. You're expecting for somebody to actually um, care you're expected for some new energy to be pushed into this relationship here. The main female here is, is showing up. Um, you want someone to actually put you first, okay? Put put your needs, your wants first here. Um, let's see. I don't know. It seems as if you feel like there's some false energy within this connection because you got false persons showing up and then you got the house. So you feel like maybe in your home, you have to walk on eggshells. You have to be a false person. You can't be yourself or this person is not speaking their heart, their mind. Um, they're holding something back from you. There's an air of mystery about you, the connection, you and your person. Let's see. Uh, it's like arrival and departure. You try not to be in, this, in, the, in the home at the same time. Um, you try to leave when they come and vice versa. This is what they do. Yep. You're always in the car. You're always driving. I don't know if you do something with the children or the, if there are children, um, you're always journeying away. Um, you, you also are thinking about taking your own journey, uh, maybe even a trip away, a weekend trip, um, a getaway to clear your, your mind, your head, your heart space. This is what you're asking your partner to do or this is what you want to do um, because you feel like something is about to be over. Um, you want it, that final nail in that coffin. Um, you don't want it to be that, but it seems as if you're getting to a place where maybe um, you feel like the energy is getting there. Okay, so it's like we need to maybe take some time apart to separate, go on a journey, a trip together, either or apart. Okay, let's see what else is going on here for my cancers. What's going on for cancer? You could drive for a living. You could, um, yeah. You could drive around for a living. Um, you could be masquerading around um, a particular woman as if you don't want this person, but you're um, spying on them. You want a new start. You miss this uh, this lover, this person who is very dynamic uh, in your life. Um, they, sh they made an uh, impression on you. Um, you could be speaking with uh, maybe another masculine figure about the fact that um, you want this person back or you, you don't know how to go about um, getting them back or talking to them. Um, you could be getting a tarot card reading. You'd be talking to somebody intimate about what to do or how to do it, how you need to show up in that capacity. Page of Wands. It's like a renewed sense of self here. Um, you're getting some type of a makeover or putting more energy effort into you, getting good news, um, just doing for you here, okay? Um, you're grounding your energy by way of putting a lot of energy into yourself. For some of you who are in marriages that um, are on the rocks, the Knight of Pentacles, some of you um, are not making any move towards somebody that you want to offer. As I said that it's flipped over, 
you're not making a move to someone who you want to offer a pentacle to a, a long-term solid stable commitment to someone that you put on a pedestal with the empress coming out someone who is above um all the other women in your life someone who's very creative abundant beautiful giving nurturing um, the relationship between you and someone has gotten very mundane, very boring. Um, it seems as if you're kind of confined to wifely duties or being a mother. Um, you want your person to pump some more fun, some more excitement. Exploration into the relationship here. Let me plug this um, laptop up before it actually goes out. Right. Hang on, guys. Um, yeah, you want somebody to do something uh, that brings the, the, the life back into the commit, the commitment here, because you feel like it has become, it has become very mundane, very boring, very stable, very stable is good, but it's become very, um, it's trying, it's, uh, tedious, it's, uh burdensome to be in, in that mess. This person is loyal to you and you're loyal to them. But I think some of you want the fun aspect or the, yeah, the fun uh, to come back into the relationship. Let's see. Let's see. What's going on here for my cancers? Yeah, the eight of wands. It's like you need to declare something. Make your, uh, declare your intentions and you want your person to, uh, to declare there. It's also, it's like a clearing of the air about the trouble, the jealousy, the drama within the connection. Some of you want to communicate with someone um, it won't be face to face, uh, or you maybe have you you communicated with this person. It wasn't face to face, and you need to have a face to face meeting with someone. Some of you want to sweep someone off their feet. You want to um, like go on trip, holiday with this person. Um, wow, your cards are falling onto the floor. Um, you want to make something more fair, balanced, stable. You feel like the power is. The power dynamic is, has shifted. It's off. It's like you want something from somebody that's not willing to give it or not willing to put the energy, effort, time into something. And then for some of you, the power dynamic has shifted because now you're waiting for this, this other person to actually show up in the capacity of um, giving, you know, giving to you now as they used to wait for you. Um, all of a sudden here, um, you, you're having fantasy about maybe even someone else or uh, other options for some of you, or some of you are all of a sudden are having fantasy about your particular person. Let me see what I got for you. I, for I keep forgetting to read these um, when I took time to write them out. Cancer, yeah, you're deciding to stay or go. This is what I got when I was shuffling off camera for you. You're gonna call a truce to your family um, to forgive and return to, to the relationship back to normal or deciding to divorce. Uh, or stay undecided, okay? So that's where you are here, um, Cancer. It's like you're procrastinating, wishful thinking. What, what would it be like on the other side here? And then for some of you are just procrastinating, um, living in fantasy, dream state, in terms of maybe a particular person, maybe even trying to travel to this person in their dream state. I'm not gonna get into that. Um, so this is what I have for you, Cancer. If it resonates for you, go over to the website, book your own reading there, take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Thank you, Cancer. Many blessings to you.